Oliver and the Hopper Truck, written and told by Kiefer Adams. While Duck had been away at the Great Western Railway, Oliver had kept to his word and looked after the Little Western. Donald, Douglas and Toad did their best to help, and Oliver was ever so grateful. One afternoon, Oliver was shunting vans into a siding when... Hello, Oliver! Oliver nearly jumped. I don't believe it, he cried. Duck! You're back! It's great to be home, the Great Western Engine smiled. Have I missed much? Oliver told Duck what he had missed. Duck smiled. Oh, just quickly, Duck whistled. I have a message from the Fat Controller. He wants you to work with Hector at the coaling plant. D -d -d Hector? Oliver stuttered. Before he could say anything else, Duck had puffed away to collect a vanned goods to take to the docks. As all engines know, Hector is a large black coal hopper truck who works at the coaling plant. He used to be called Hector the Horrid, but thanks to the kindness of Thomas and James, Hector proved to be a really useful truck and kept the others in order. But even so, Oliver was nervous using Hector due to his past experiences with trucks. Even though he had managed to regain control from the old days of Scruffy, poor Oliver's fears slowly started coming back when he had first seen Hector arrive on Sodor. He's just like any other truck, Mr Oliver, said Toad. I don't see why you're not giving him a chance. Have you seen the size of him? exclaimed Oliver. And do you remember what we went through with Scruffy? That Hector is so big, he might tear me to pieces. You don't know until you try, Mr Oliver, said Toad. Take it from me. Everything will be fine. Just then, Douglas arrived to take the train that Toad was coupled up to. As he puffed away, Toad gave a small smile. Remember what I said, Mr Oliver? He said, give the truck a chance and he might surprise you. Oliver groaned. But he decided to take Toad's word as he set off for the coaling plant. Out on the main line, Duck was having a wonderful time. The trucks were well behaved and he was happy to see old faces as he puffed along. He then stopped to have a rest. A few minutes later, he was quite surprised when Thomas appeared alongside him, only to quickly disappear behind his long line of trucks when Percy came into view. Percy puffed past, whistling a greeting. Thomas then emerged again. Thank you, Duck, he whistled, and he scampered away. Duck was surprised. But as he watched Thomas puff away into the distance with Annie and Clarabelle, he couldn't have known that Thomas had been hiding from Percy because he had to collect the brass band from the docks, even though Thomas had promised to give the job to Percy. Meanwhile, Oliver had finally arrived at the coaling plant. His nerves were getting the better of him as he tried looking for Hector. He turned a corner and was just passing the coal chutes when... Hello, little fella! Oliver jumped. There was Hector being loaded to the brim with coal. You must be Oliver, he said. The engines have told me so much about you. I'm sure they have, said Oliver. He never took his eyes off Hector. Our train is over there in the siding, said Hector. Please couple me up. Um, absolutely, Oliver stuttered. He was very nervous. Very slowly and carefully, Oliver shunted Hector to the front of a long line of coal trucks which were to be delivered across the island. The trucks giggled in their silly way. Oliver's no use at all, thinks he's very clever. Thinks that he can handle us. I dare you to finish that little tune, Hector roared. The trucks trembled. If you've got a problem with Oliver, you answer to me, he said firmly. 
Y yes, Hector, uh, of course, Hector, stuttered the trucks. Oliver was impressed. Uh, th thank you, he said. No truck has ever stood up for me before. Well, someone has to, said Hector. Otherwise these trucks wouldn't behave. Shall we make our delivery? Absolutely, replied Oliver. His confidence was fully restored. The Great Western Engine then pumped his pistons as he pulled Hector and the long line of trucks out of the coaling plant. Toad was right, he chuckled to himself. All I had to do was give Hector a chance. And boy George, he certainly proved himself. <laughs>